In this lecture, we're going to see uh, how to use Mathematica to calculate the normal stress and the shear stress uh, um, using uh, the, func the built-in functions in Mathematica. So, the first example, we're going to try to calculate the normal stress and the shear stress on a certain uh, uh, area that is described by the normal to this area and the normal to this area is equal to the vector u 1 1 1 so the first thing we have to do is calculate the normal vector I'm gonna call it normal or just n and n w has to be equal to the u after we normalize it normalize it by dividing by norm of u and you can see that I Mathematica identifies the function norm and don't forget that Mathematica is case sensitive so I'm using the function norm with a capital N and putting u between the square brackets shift enter so the normal vector is 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3, 1 over root 3 and given the stress matrix that's called sigma to form a matrix again curly brackets the first row I'm gonna put uh, curly brackets the second row in another set of curly brackets the third row in another set so the first row is 1 negative 1 0 the second row is negative 1 negative 5 0 and the third row is 0 0 4 so let's say I would like to calculate the normal the, to calculate the normal stress and the shear stress on that plane with normal n the first thing is t to calculate is tn which is the traction vector the traction vector is equal to the transpose of sigma dot n which is sigma transpose n and you can view tn in matrix form shift enter so this is tn the normal stress I'm going to call it sigma n is equal to tn dot n is the dot product between the traction vector and the normal vector sigma n is equal to negative 2 over 3 which is means it's compression and the shear stress let's call it shear stress which is equal to the norm of the difference between tn the traction vector minus sigma n multiplied by n sigma n is a real number that's why I'm using the star for multiplication I'm uh, multiplying a real number multiplied by the area vector n so the norm of tn minus sigma n will give me the shear stress and I can further simplify this value so shear stress I can use the built-in function that's called full simplify shear stress so it's 2 square root of 38 divided by 3 and this was a problem in your textbook uh, for the normal stress and the shear stress now we can um, do this uh, using any other uh, state of stress for example instead of the sigma I'm gonna use another state of stress let's say sigma I'm gonna use a hydrostatic state of stress just to show you what happens when I utilize a hydrostatic state of stress as we started in the lectures in a hydrostatic state of stress which, which is described by a, a p-value for the normal stresses on the planes and zero for everything else And what you expect is this is your sh your stress matrix. The normal stress is equal to p, and the shear stress is always equal to zero. Whatever n I use, whatever normal vector I use, the shear stress is al always equal to zero, and the normal stress is equal to p. In the next uh, example we would like to calculate 
the coordinate system in which a stress matrix is diagonal. So I'm going to remove this, start from scratch, evaluation, quit kernel. So given a stress matrix, sigma, and let's say this sigma, as th given the problem uh, in class, is the one where it's pure shear, 0, S1, 2, 0, S1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So just let's view it in matrix form. Shift enter. So let's say this is the state of stress that I have. And I would like to find the coordinate system in which this uh, state is diagonal. To do this, the first thing we need to do is find the eigen system of sigma. The eigen system of sigma consists of the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. So I'm going to save this in uh, a variable called sol1, and I'm going to view sol1 in matrix form because it's easier for me to understand the 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 variables that are stored when I view it in matrix form. Shift enter. So this is sigma in matrix form. This is the solution and this is the solution in matrix form. The solution it consists of three values which are the eigenvalues of sigma and the corresponding eigenvectors. The eigenvalue of 0 this is the corresponding eigenvector 0, 0, 1. The eigenvalue of negative S12, this is the corresponding eigenvector, and S12, and this is the corresponding eigenvector. Notice that the eigenvectors calculated by Mathematica is not necessarily normalized. For example, that last eigenvector, let's say vector is equal to 1, 1, 0. If you calculate the norm of the vector, it's equal to root 2 which is not equal to 1 which means if I utilize these as eigen as uh, normal vectors I have to normalize them so to find my Q I'm gonna say eigenvalue 1 is equal to solution 1 the second row the first column Notice that if I extract values from uh, a list, I use two sets of square brackets. So two sets of square brackets, and I want the second row, the first column, and I want to normalize it. So use the value, but normalize it. Shift Enter. So eigenvalue 1 is already normalized. Let's take this copy and paste and calculate the second and third eigenvalues or extract the second and third eigenvalues third and third and let's suppress these I don't want to look at them just the normalized eigen vectors and here are the normalized eigenvectors the first one is 0 0 1 so taking this one the second one is negative 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 0 which is basically the normalized eigenvector the normalized second eigenvector and this is the third normalized eigenvector 1 1 0 1 over square root 2 1 over square root 2 0 so these are the three eigenvectors I'm gonna take those three eigenvectors and form my Q matrix EV1, EV2, EV3. And I want to make sure that the determinant of Q is 1, which means it follows the right hand orientation. That is not true, it's actually negative 1. So I'm going to switch the eigenvalue 2 and the eigenvalue 3, or basically put eigenvalue 1 at the end. Or just simply sw switch eigenvalue 2 and eigenvalue 3. The determinant of Q is 1, so now my new coordinate system follows the right hand orientation and it's made out of eigenvalue 1, eigenvalue 3, and eigenvalue 2. The new stress matrix, sigma dash, is equal to Q dot sigma dot trend.
dot transpose of q. Let's view it in matrix form. Shift enter, and this is the new stress matrix. See that the original stress matrix had diagonal components and zero everywhere else. Sorry, had zero diagonal components and a shear value of sigma 1, 2. The new stress matrix in the new coordinate system has zero values everywhere except the diagonal components. In the next uh, example, we are going to see how we can form a function to calculate the von Mises stress of a, a general matrix. Now the von Mises stress of a general matrix is given by a big equation sigma 1 2 minus sigma 1 1 minus sigma 2 2 squared plus 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 so it's a very large equation it's a very uh, it might be uh, difficult or, or time-consuming to write it every time so I'm gonna form a function that takes any matrix and returns uh, the value of the von Mises stress so I'm gonna start from scratch I'll delete everything graphics uh, sorry uh, evaluation quit the kernel to def design to de define a new function you define a function by uh, writing its name let's say let's call it one Mises you open a bracket and you close the square bracket and you put the the variable inside so the variable is going to be a matrix so let's call it mat and I'm gonna put underscore you put an underscore for the variable and then uh, to define the function a colon equal and your von Mises function is equal to the square root of open square bracket close the square bracket the von Mises function if you remember is equal to 1 over 2 mu multiplied by a huge equation inside this equation it's very it's function of all the different uh, variables of the this or all the different components of mat of the matrix so I have made matrix the first 1 comma 1 minus matrix 2 comma 2 power 2 plus I'm gonna copy this 2 comma 2 minus 3 comma 3 plus 1 comma 1 minus 3 comma 3 plus 6 multiplied by 1 2 squared plus 1 3 squared plus 2 3 squared now let's try this function out let's say I have a matrix Sigma that's made out of the first row has 1 0 0 the second row has 0 0 0 the third row is 0 0 0 I'm gonna calculate von Mises of the matrix Sigma shift enter and it's equal to 1 let's calculate another stress matrix sigma 2 is equal to I'm just verifying uh, my function I'm gonna use a different uh, just put one at the end I know this sh should also be equal to 1 so von Mises of sigma 2 shift enter is also equal to 1 I'm gonna use another matrix 1 1 or 1 2 3 
one 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 three five one Mises Sigma three shift enter square root of fifty eight. If you want to calculate this as a numerical value, n of one Mises Sigma three shift enter seven point six one five seven seven. 